so today I know it's a little late because I'm just filming this and it is September 5th but I wanted to do an August favorites video because there's a lot of new things that I bought over the last month or two that I've just been loving. I have some beauty favorites, I have some clothing favorites, I have just books, everything that you can imagine, everything under the sun. So without further ado, let's just get started. So my first thing that I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to start with fashion, um, is this little corduroy skirt. Um, it is from Zara and it is one of their fall pieces. First of all, if you haven't gone onto Zara's website recently or into their stores, please do yourself a favor and check it out. This stuff is amazing. I am loving all of the like, 70s vibe kind of thing and I kind of bought a lot from Zara. So the next thing that I bought are these sparkly boots. I am obsessed with them. They look like Saint Laurent to me. I mean, I don't own anything Saint Laurent, but I'm a big fan of the brand. So um, these little pointed toe sparkly boots, they are very glittery, but I am obsessed with them. I wear them like every time we go like out or anything because they're comfortable because their heel is not a thing, but they're also kind of like dressy and funky because they have sparkles all over them. But they're black, so if you're a little bit skeptical about like crazy boots, I feel like these are the perfect ones for you. I believe they retail for $89, but they're definitely going to be like my fall go-to shoe. Another thing that I bought from Zara um, and that I've been loving recently is this bucket bag. Um, it has a star studded print on it. And I also think it kind of looks like Zara, but um, I don't know, you tell me. It just got like a long strap and then this drawstring. Yeah, it fits a ton, which I love. So I've actually brought my like school stuff in it a few times. I can't fit my laptop in here, which kind of sinks, but yeah, it has a lot of space and I love how like soft the leather is. Like it's very flexible and thin and so it's a lightweight bag, which is really important to me. And I don't know, I thought it was cool and yeah. So that is all I have for fashion favorites. Next, I'm just gonna kind of mention this one product. It's a hair care item. Um, my hairstylist back home told me to purchase the shampoo. Um, it is called Watercolor Liquid Copper Shampoo. It's kind of like a toning shampoo. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see. I think it's hard to kind of tell, but I do have like red undertones in my hair now, like coppery undertones. And this stuff is serious. It is bright red in the bottle. So you kind of just like wash it, your hair with it after you've normally like shampooed it and let it sit for a couple minutes and then rinse it out. And it's like, this will just kind of give me that fresh color look. So yeah, I'm loving this. I've used it once already, but you can use it kind of whenever you want. The next section of favorites I have is skincare. So all of these items I've used before, but kind of just started going back to it. Um, first is actually just like an all-time favorite. I use this all the time. It's the Origins Clear Improvements Active Charcoal Mask. And um, this stuff is amazing. It kind of dries out spots without it drying out the whole your rest of your face. Um, it feels really tight on the skin after it dries, so if you're not into that, then I wouldn't recommend it. But once you rinse it off, like your skin just kind of all the impurities are either gone or like dried out or just ready to be extracted, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I love this stuff and I have dry skin naturally so this stuff is, um, it's not very drying. I mean, it definitely dries out my spots but like it doesn't dry out the rest of my skin which I love. Um, next is this moisturizer. It is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Um, you can use it all over your body as well but I just use it on my face. And I actually used this once before and I was breaking out, but I don't know. I'm Now I'm thinking it wasn't from this. Um, so I kind of went back and started using it again because I ran out my other moisturizer and I wanted to just see, because I know a lot of people love this stuff, I just wanted to see maybe, hey, if it was a fluke or if something else was breaking me out. So I've been trying this again and I'm loving it. The consistency isn't very like watery or runny, which I love because I, like I said, I have dry skin. So like... It can't be too runny, but it's also not too thick because it's like super easy to spread. I think it does a good job and it doesn't break me out, which is good. Last skincare product is the Bliss Micro Magic Microdermabrasion uh, Treatment. And um, I use this like twice a week after I've cleansed. I usually do it in the shower just because I feel like it's easier to rinse off afterwards, but this stuff is pretty easy to rinse anyway. And it's just tiny, tiny, tiny little, like it feels like almost grains of sand. And um, yeah, I just kind of like rub it all over my face to kind of just 
liven it up and it kind of exfoliates and does all that magic. So really like this stuff. The next thing I'm going to mention is just a book that I read this past month that I loved. Um, I actually had to read it for school and it is Claire of the Sea Light. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this name, but she is a Haitian author and um, I loved this book. I wasn't thrilled about reading it. I usually prefer nonfiction. But as soon as I read it, I was like, wow, that was actually really good. And I actually kind of want to reread it because a lot of the time I was reading it, I was like, ugh, this is kind of slow. It's a little bit slow to start, but like once you get into the story, you're kind of captivated by it. And I thought it was really great and really telling. And the last favorite section is beauty. I only have two items this month, but they're both amazing. I'm loving them. So Obviously, you guys have probably heard all about the Kat Von D tattoo liner, and I have never bought it because I never was big on doing, like, eyeliner in general, so if I were going to do, like, liquid eyeliner, I'd just get something from the drugstore, but while I was in London, um, my friend Alexa had gotten a eyeliner from the brand Art Deco, which I don't think they sell in the U.S., but you can buy it online and stuff, but that stuff, the eyeliner was, like, $33.00. So that's like way expensive for liquid eyeliner and um, so I kind of was on the hunt for a similar kind because that eyeliner was really really great for doing a winged eyeliner and I'm really bad at it so I kind of need something that's going to do the work for me. So um, yeah I picked up the Kat Von D tattoo liner per tons of recommendations and I love it so far. I've literally only had it for probably a week and a half now. but. It makes it so, so easy for me to do a winged eyeliner. I'm currently wearing some. I don't know if you can see it from there, but... I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. I love it so far. It's just really easy to use. I actually picked up the limited edition version, so it has, like, star prints on it. And this was $24, but I love it. And I think some of the proceeds of this one went to the California Wildfire Relief Fund. So I was like, hey, doing a good deed and I'm obsessed. I forgot to mention I bought this in the color Trooper which is just black so. And the last favorite, beauty favorite, favorite overall is the NARS Pure Matte Lipstick in the color Tonkin I believe it says. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, it is just this like nude matte lipstick and I absolutely love this stuff. It's not messy at all which I had a lot of issues with with the velvet matte lip pencils. Those I feel like transfer a lot and I would like wind up with like bright red lipstick on my nose and it was just like a mess. But this stuff really really does stay put especially if you're like not eating and stuff. I mean if you eat and drink it'll come off a little bit but like it's so close to like your natural lip color that like kind of just fades away <laughs> instead of like leaving you with a ring or just anything that you don't want. So I highly recommend this stuff. It is kind of pricey. I want to say it was like $27. In my opinion, it is definitely worth that price. I will definitely repurchase this and probably look into other colors just because I really like the consistency and it's super matte, which I love matte lipsticks and it's just, I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little favorites video. It was kind of spontaneous. I thought, why not film another favorites video? I liked doing my last one. I know I didn't do one for the past couple of months, but I was traveling and I didn't really have anything for July. So here we are, August favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye!